Hello and welcome to the Leveling Up podcast with me, George Swift from Bigger, Brighter, Bold. I'm also the founder of BBB Success Groups for ambitious business owners and extreme growth masterminds. The Leveling Up podcast is here to give you the personal development, the entrepreneurial development and the business growth that you, the ambitious business owner, desires. We're here to give you the inspiration, the motivation and to challenge your aspirations to take you and your business to the next level. Don't forget to tune in every Monday and Wednesday for mindset, attitude, personal performance and business growth content and every Friday when we do our Friday five minute fix. Subscribe to this podcast and never miss an episode. And today it is our Friday five minute fix. I put these out there every Friday to challenge you in a really simple, really short, really impactful way to take into your weekend, to think about yourself, life, business differently, so you come out on Monday firing on all cylinders and starting to create the change, the growth that you wanna see in your business, but as always, also in yourself and in your life. Today, it's all about navigating the nightmare. The nightmare I'm talking about is the nightmare of business, the nightmare of being your own boss, the nightmare of entrepreneurism. And I have a little saying which is, before you get to live the dream, you must first navigate the nightmare. I see so many business owners that either stumble across entrepreneurism because they kind of fall into being a business owner, they were doing something before, they were good at it, they got bored of working for other people, so they kind of set themselves up as their, as their own business, or I see other people that deliberately become business owners, that de- deliberately become entrepreneurs and create their businesses so that they can create this dream, they can live the dream. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, the dream does exist out there for us as business owners. Does everyone get to achieve it? Does everyone get to live it? Of course they don't. However, if you're a business owner, you really can create an unbelievable lifestyle for yourself, an incredible freedom that doesn't exist in any other walk of life. You get to do what it is you wanna do, the way you wanna do it. You work with who you wanna work with. You choose your clients. You decide on how much money you wanna work how much time you want to work, how much commitment you want to make. You decide on how far you want to take your business. You have unleveled parallels of freedom as a business owner. You get to work the hours you want. If you want to take Monday off, you get to take Monday off. Want to work seven days a week and create a business empire, you get to do that as well. But here's the thing. Once you become a business owner, once you become an entrepreneur, there is no doubt that you have not chosen the easy path. It is so hard to create business success out there. And I know it's not sexy, and I know it doesn't sell well, but the reason that we exist as an organization, Bigger, Brighter, Bolder, our success groups, and our Extreme Growth Masterminds, is because we're there to support business owners that are trying to create the lives they want for themselves, create the businesses they want, create the business growth that they need in order to support them creating and living into their own dreams. However, the reason we exist is because it's not an easy path. It's not an easy journey. It is thwart with many obstacles and challenges There's so much out there that can get you. For example, you know, not everyone works well on their own schedule. So some people are really self-disciplined and many people aren't necessarily self-disciplined. It can be quite hard when you're working at the kitchen table to put in a 40 hour week, for example. But here's the thing, the dream exists for you. But in order to create your own version of that dream, that entrepreneurial dream, You need to absolutely do what you need to do in order to achieve that dream. You don't get to create the dream by living like you're in the dream already. So I meet business owners that don't wanna work hard. They wanna work three days a week. They wanna do half days. They wanna only do, I don't know, 10 till three. Does this make sense? But the problem is, they wanna take five holidays a year, 10 holidays a year. They wanna have a month of a Christmas, a month of a summer. And the problem is, to achieve that, you need to work a lot harder than that. So if you're a business owner and you've got a vision for your business, which is one where maybe you're not working from seven in the morning till 10 at night and you do have weekends off and you do have a number of holidays and maybe you do take a month or two off a year, I want you to understand 
that you need to be patient. In order to achieve that and create that, you're gonna have to first navigate the nightmare, which is you're probably gonna have to work harder than you've ever fucking worked in your life. You're probably gonna get beaten like harder than you've ever been beaten in any job you've ever had. It's only you standing there. It could be your challenges about doing sales. It could be um, running so close to not being able to pay your mortgage some months that you know, you're almost pulling your hair out. You have to go through the stress, the sleepless nights. You're gonna have to challenge yourself to do the things that you don't wanna do. You're gonna have to get better at the things that you're no good at. You're gonna have to fail, maybe fail publicly. You're gonna have to keep standing up and keep moving forward. You're gonna have to work the long hours. You're gonna have to make the sacrifices. But when you do, the dream is on offer to you. But if you get, get into business or you got into business so that you could somehow be a lazy bastard, the chances are you're never gonna do what you need to do in order to achieve that lifestyle. The people that achieve the lifestyle that I know now that are achieving the lifestyle that may be what you want, you know, the only working the 20 hours a week or only working three days a week or whatever it might be, you know, only working eight months of the year, the people that do that do that because they did the seven day weeks and they worked every single day of the month and they were up at the crack of dawn and working last thing at night and they were making those sacrifices in their business life, in their personal life and everything else. They're the ones that then get the opportunity to really leave, live the entrepreneurial dream that is on offer. I know I'm having a bit of a rant, I know I'm having a bit of a shout, but the truth of the matter is I do meet business owners and I just call them lazy people, right? Lazy business owners. It's not necessarily that they're lazy people per se. It's just they think that they can become an entrepreneur, be a business person and just do 20 hours a week or 25 hours a week. Or they can just do the fun stuff or they can just do the, it's not gonna work like that. You're gonna absolutely live a fucking nightmare if you are trying to live the dream too soon. Okay, navigate the nightmare. The nightmare of having to work harder than you've ever worked before. Do the stuff that you really don't want to do. To you know, to fail, to trip up, to have to keep moving forward, to have to keep you know regrouping your confidence, maybe even your self-esteem sometimes. To keep putting yourself out there, to get up early and do the tasks that you don't want to do, to stay up late and do the stuff that you need to do, to give up on the weekends, to pass on some of the holidays to pass up maybe some of the money sometimes and reinvest that money back in the business, right? That's what I'm calling the nightmare. It's not nightmare, it's entrepreneurism. I fucking love it. But I'm, I, for the purposes of this episode, I'm calling it the entrepreneurial nightmare, right? The hard work, the grind, the graft. Navigate that, then you get an opportunity at living the dream. If you think you're gonna set up a business and start living that dream, wow, man, then uh, you are gonna get a rude awakening very, very soon. Navigate the nightmare so that you get to live the dream. Have an awesome weekend. I will catch you on Monday as always. Until then, be successful.